In this activity, you will take solutions containing different percentages of alcohol and use these solutions to separate colors of Kool-Aid on a chromatography column. This is made possible by using differences in the polarity of pigments, the chromatography resin, and the alcohol solutions. Prior to starting this lab, you will need to obtain a beaker for waste, a squirt bottle with distilled water, 10 clean test tubes, a mixture of Kool-Aid, 5% and 25% 2-propanol solutions, and concentrated 2-propanol. You will also need a set-pack C18 cartridge and a 10 ml syringe. Remove the plunger from the 10 ml syringe. Attach the long end of the set-pack C18 cartridge to the syringe barrel. Pre-wet the cartridge by pouring 10 milliliters of concentrated 2-propanol into the syringe. Attach the plunger and gently push the concentrated alcohol through the cartridge into the waste beaker. Make sure to push the concentrated alcohol through the column slowly so that it exits the syringe in fast droplets rather than in a continuous stream. Once the concentrated alcohol has flowed through, remove the cartridge from the syringe, pull out the plunger, and then reattach the cartridge. Always perform these steps in this specific order so that the solution flows in one direction. Next, fill the syringe with 10 ml of distilled water. Once the water has completely flowed through, pull off the cartridge, pull out the plunger, and reattach the cartridge. Using a transfer pipette, add 1 ml of Kool-Aid solution to the syringe. Replace the plunger and push the Kool-Aid through the cartridge, however this time collect the flow through in test tube number 1 and save it for analysis. Notice that the pigment portion of the Kool-Aid has stuck to the column, indicating that it is non-polar and hydrophobic. Note the color of the fraction collected in test tube number one. Remove the cartridge from the syringe, pull out the plunger, and reattach the cartridge. Pour 10 ml of 5% 2-propanol into the syringe. Replace the plunger and push the alcohol through the cartridge. Collect the flow through in test tube number 2. Notice what is happening to the Kool-Aid pigment during this step. You will need to repeat the 5% 2-propanol wash until the flow-through is clear. Collect each fraction in a separate test tube. Once the flow-through is clear, remove the cartridge, pull out the plunger, and then reattach the cartridge to the syringe. You will now add 10 mLs of 25% 2-propanol. Replace the plunger and push the alcohol through the column. Collect the flow through in the next empty test tube.
Once all of the pigment has come off the column, push a final 10 milliliters of 25% to propanol through the cartridge and collect the flow through in a final test tube. Holding the test tubes against a white background will allow you to examine the results.